Hello and welcome to another Ross weekly update of the ocean conditions using satellite sea surface temperature and ocean colored chlorophyll imagery from the weekend of May 5th. Uh, overall, the Gulf Stream is about 81 extending through the Florida Straits and cools down to approximately 79 to 78 past uh, Cape Hatteras. Uh, we'll start to the south and work our way north and see if we can find uh, any major features and we'll identify them. So starting to the south here, we can see an overall large counterclockwise rotation here west of Key West. To the north, some clouds. Uh, <clears throat> and this time of year, uh, when the temperatures get a little bit higher, everything more or less get squished in between the Florida Straits here, um, but we'll take a look at the chlorophyll data to see if we can find any eddies. Uh, looking north past Stewart to Canaveral, it looks like there's a little eddy in here as well as off of the Sebastian area. Some clouds in here, but it does look like there is a rotation here off of the Jacksonville to Matanzas area, I would say. And then again, it looks like there's some warmer water pushing inshore along the <clears throat> Charleston to Savannah area. To the north here, we can see a large deflection of the Gulf Stream here and a large eddy circulating Gulf Stream water inshore with the leading edge out front here off of Cape Lookout and extending past Cape Fear, um, down off of just north of the Georgetown area here. And then to the north, relatively stable conditions, um, but there was another eddy here off of the Cape Hatteras area, and then the significantly cooler water from the Labrador current that's always trying to head south there. Um, looking quickly over at the Bahamas, uh, more or less uh, a similar pattern or a normal, what we would consider a normal pattern. There's counterclockwise here in the channel. Um, and then there is a counterclockwise and clockwise feature here. This kind of cooler water that's cleaner as well as this warmer water that comes up from the south is also cleaner um, with good reports of billfish and tuna off of Abaco and Eleuthera and some good reports of marlin as well, um, tuna and uh, billfish off of the walkers area as well and along the eastern side. Um, in terms of reports for the south, uh, we've uh, had good reports of uh, mahi start pushing through, certainly off the Keys, and then a few days later, South Florida. Um, so, uh, weather permitting, um, there's been quite a few boats out, um, and it looks like a pretty good push of dolphin went through. So, that's always great news. Looking at the chlorophyll data, again, um, relatively stable, it looks like. We'll zoom in here a little bit. Uh, relatively stable off the keys here with that main kind of green to blue edge in shore along roughly 20 fathoms. Um, it looks relatively stable even extending north there might be some smaller features but overall some blue water certainly well in shore in the area. Uh, here's this little rotation here uh, just north of Jupiter so Sebastian area. Um, some blended water in here off of Cape Canaveral and then that kind of large feature we were talking about off of the Jacksonville to Matanzas area pushing some nice water inshore. We'll zoom back out here a little bit. The large eddy here off of Cape Lookout to Cape Fear. This feature here as well north off of Cape Lookout to Hatteras. And then again, looking down, we can see this cleaner water here. Certainly off the Abacos and northern Abacos.
Abaco out to blockers there. With that, as always, for the most recent analysis of your area, um, you can order online at ROFS.com. Um, you can call us at 321-723-5759 or drop us an email at fishing at Thank you very much. Tag lines.